Hey, what's up guys? Just finishing up the week here and had a couple nice trades on IMPP today. $461 to cap off the week. And before I jump into the trades, just take a look at the weekly stats. It's pretty good week. So this week I did about a thousand bucks, I think. Yeah, about a thousand bucks. We wrapped up February strong and we're starting off Mar March strong. So I love to see that. And I may have said this in the past video, but one thing I just want to point out is I've had a couple just small, not really red, but not really green days. And as a trader, I know for myself and I know a lot of other traders as well, it's kind of about just waiting for those big days to pick you up and not giving everything back that you make on those big days. For example, on Monday and Friday today, we had pretty big days. They were good sized days. And these other days, there was really wasn't much moving. So. What I could have done is over traded on those days and given back all the profits that I made on these bigger days. So just something to think about on those days where there's not much moving, just say to yourself, look, today I just have to sit on my hands and wait because you have to trust that the market will give you something to trade eventually. All right, let's get into the trades. So I've been reviewing my trades every day as I normally do. And one thing I've been realizing is I'm really only making money in that first 30 minutes. And I realized that I'm probably over trading a little bit. I should really just focus on the best setups and go big on those best setups. And this is a great example of me doing that today. This morning, I actually only took four trades in IMPP. And this was the first one. It was a killer trade. So let's play this out. We're coming back up near the high a day. 228 is that high. And we see a buyer there at 225, but I'm not buying in front of this buyer yet. We crack the buyer and then wait, and there we go. So 225, I just wanna show you, you can rewind the clip if you want, but basically what happened is this buyer came in, we had 410 on the bid and we popped up two cents. So anytime we pop up a few cents and then we see a large order, that's a pretty good indication that there's a buyer that wants to get into this thing. And the reason is they basically, they probably wanted to buy like, we'll say like 60,000 shares or something like that. And they basically said, okay, I'm willing to get in at 224 and 225. I'll eat up any sellers who are there and then I'll place my bid at 225. So I just popped right in front of that buyer as soon as I saw that because the daily chart was showing strength or the intraday chart was showing strength. We had a nice pattern intraday. And so let's watch what happens. We did stay at these levels longer than I like. That ask was building up. Then the bid refreshed there. So I'm feeling a little bit better about this trade now, but Still not gonna add yet. I really wish this went right away. So I was a little spooked right now. I probably could have added right there. I did not. Again, I'm not taking anything off until that cracks. And then boom, we see a thousand come in on the bid at 226. So now I jump, I add another 4,000 shares in front of that. And we're just waiting. This was actually a long trade. This was one of my longer trades. I think it was like a, a minute and 30 seconds or so. We get that move. Okay, we're seeing more green. We're gonna break down 228. Nice move through 228. I take off 4,000 into 228. This is a break even trade now. I will get out if 227 starts to crack. 227 is still holding though. 227 is my break even. So I'm up $60 right now and I'm not gonna lose any money in this trade as long as I play it correctly. Watching for that 229 to break. This is a potential add spot too that I could have added. I don't think I did, but I could have. That would have been a great add right there. Big, big seller at 230, so I sold a thousand shares, still holding 3,000 into that pop. I think I'm gonna sell another thousand there at 231. We got a big seller order here at 232. As we fail to break that, I see red, and I'm out the rest of my position at 231. So all in all, that was a $231 trade. Just a quick little pop, nice setup right at the open. This next trade is another great example. This came about 23 minutes into the day or so. So I'm gonna play this and you're gonna see a larger order at 239. Again, we're sitting at high a day. Look at where we are. We're at 239. Um, 
we've already tapped this high a day once and we're coming right back up to it. So I like this. I like this setup a lot. Now I'm not buying here because I know that there's an order, a larger order right above it at 240. I know this because of bookmap. If you're curious in bookmap, I've got some other videos on my channel and look at that rip. So actually, let me go back and replay that and I wanna slow it down. We're gonna go half speed for you guys because this happens so quickly. So I'm gonna pause the video as soon as we break 239. Okay, here we are. 240 comes, we've got I think that's 400,000 shares, I want to say. I want to say that's 400,000 shares sitting at 240. That's a humongous order. You do not expect these to break immediately. And watch what happens. This is really incredible. I haven't seen this in a long time. I'm going to play this clip. Again, this is half speed. Look how quickly that starts to get melted. Look at the orders that are coming in. 20,000. I'm going to play it and pause it again. 15,000. So look how fast this is getting melted. So I'm expecting this to break immediately. Just based on how fast this is getting melted, I want it to break immediately. I get in at 240. So you can see me buy there, and immediately it, it, it broke. This is perfect. And when you have that much buying demand, when you have that much volume coming in, usually these give pretty good breakouts. I sold this for a two cent gain on 4,000 shares. It's 80 bucks. It's nothing to be ashamed of, but this is definitely a place where I could have held a little bit longer just given the amount of volume and the, the demand that was there. So let me just play this out and you'll see I sold immediately in a 242 when we saw that pop. If I had held just a couple seconds longer, I could have taken half off a 243 and then waited for that follow-up pop. Again, we really haven't seen any red. Not until there did we actually see any red. So there was no reason to get out immediately. Definitely could have held this one just a little bit longer. And this move continued for a while, actually. This was a, this was a really nice move. Okay, this last clip is a pretty good one. This was later in the day when IMPP kind of just squeezed over some daily levels. Um, it was breaking out. It started at 270. It's all the way up at 315 right now. This thing's got crazy momentum. And so I'm going to play this clip. We're at 315 now. We get a little pullback, and you'll see a larger buyer that shows up right there at 311. Now I'm not buying right in front of that order. If this stock, I mean, this is a stock where you actually could buy right in front of that when they show up like that, just because it has so much momentum, but I'm waiting to see if it holds. I just wanna see if it holds and then the first sign of green, I'm in. If I see any green over here, I'm just getting in. And the reason is because it holds for like five or 10 seconds. It, it, there was plenty of time for it to break, order it didn't. Field. So I'm in order there, and that was a really, really quick squeeze back through the high of day up to 321. I think I made about 80 bucks on a thousand shares there. So nothing crazy, but quick little scalp, high of day scalp on something that has crazy, crazy momentum. And just to wrap things up, this kind of momentum we haven't seen in a long time, that we had like four stocks that had showed insane, insane moves right into after hours we had IMPP. This is right now you're seeing this stock at 320. This stock is now trading at or it made a high of four dollars in three cents or thirty cents. So it made a huge, huge move. Indo went from twenty something today, went from like twenty-two bucks to fifty dollars today. So Indo made a hundred percent move today. Then we had B cell went absolutely nuts at the end of the day. It went from two dollars and fifty cents all the way up to a post market high of $7.50. So crazy moves. I hope this continuation or this momentum continues into Monday and uh, hope to trade it with you guys live. So I'll be live on stream starting at 9 a.m. Uh, on Monday. So I'll see you guys there. Have yourselves a great weekend. Take it easy.